let's continue now John chapter 1 verse 1 the Bible says in the beginning it was only Apostle John who began his discourse from the divinity of Christ when you read other synoptics some of them started from an archaeological standpoint others started from a historic standpoint with the census that was going on in the days of Jesus are we together others started like Mark straight from the miracles but it was John that approached his synoptic account from the standpoint of the divinity of Christ he traced it down to the beginning so having that in mind let's read John 1 verse 1 in the beginning was the word he says and the word was with God and the word was God now very instructive statement the word was with God the word was God verse 2 the Bible says the same the word now was with God in the beginning and then a very interesting rendition verse 3 and then we'll pause for now it says all things how many things all things were made by him not it him so we see the first expression of the word being personified that the word is not just a book he's talking about the word of God and he's saying that please give it to us now verse 3 all things were made by him and without him that means outside of him was not anything made that was made all things were made by him and if you ever see anything that was made he was the one who made it the word of God for many people we pick up a Bible like this and we say this is the word of God generally speaking we are right in that is a book that was inspired the Bible says all scripture was inspired of the Holy Spirit that holy men wrote as they were moved by the Spirit are we together but in reality this was a book that was published by a book publishing house it is possible that the publisher of this book is not even born again are we together now yes in this Bible demons spoke in this Bible God spoke in this Bible animals spoke are we together in this Bible men spoke in the depravity of their hearts in this Bible men spoke from a standpoint of repentance in this Bible God spoke from the standpoint of his strength and majesty so what exactly is the Word of God it is important that we understand what the Word of God is what is the Word of God that is so important the Bible says all things happens at the instance of that word what then is the Word of God but you see even before we begin to discuss the subject please look up please pay attention even before we begin to discuss the subject of the Word of God our first port of call is God himself you see if your study of scripture and your pursuit of the knowledge of scripture is isolated from the larger picture of trying to know God study of scripture will not profit you the study of scripture should be a derivative of a bigger appetite and a bigger agenda that is to know God it is the passion to know God that now drives you to begin to make reference to this material are we together now yes John 17 from verse 3 this is the Lord's prayer Jesus is praying he said this is life eternal that they may know thee not just to know about thee that they may know thee the only one true God and Jesus whom thou hast sent so our highest pursuit listen carefully is not just to study scripture it's not just to crime verses it's not just to feel religious about holding a book or an iPad that contains a Christian material 
the highest desire must be to know God himself there are many people who have read this book and it did not change them because the desire was not to know God the desire was to find controversial statements and accuse the faith work there are people who have studied this as part of their thesis for an educational certification just because you open and study does not mean it will profit you the desire must be God himself and see the, the way it works in this kingdom is that whatever else you seek good or bad if it rises above your knowledge and your passion and your desire for God it is idolatry if you seek anointing above God it is idolatry if you seek angels above God it is idolatry you seek signs and wonders above God these are positive things the jealousy of God does not allow him to contest with anything at all in your heart every other thing finds its credence when God is first and God is priority are we still together so as we discuss the idea of the word of God it's important for you to not limit your mind to just okay let me learn this so that I can go and get results let me learn this so that I can administer healing those things are wonderful but it starts with God the rule is in the beginning God that must be the formula that must be maintained in the beginning of your spiritual pursuit God not miracles not anointing not breakthroughs these things are not wrong you've already seen God visit, visiting his people in the beginning the accurate posture that makes scripture to come alive and the understanding of scripture profitable is when your heart is on God not Bible when your heart is on God not heaven when your heart is on if you worship the throne that God is sitting on is still idolatry we don't worship the throne is him that sits on the throne are we together because there are many believers who are word addicts they really have passion for scripture but the motivation behind it is just to find the principles therein and obtain results that are isolated from the knowledge of God eventually you will meet with destruction on the way are we together yeah. unbelievers without giving their lives to Christ can sit down under a conference like this and learn the principles of the kingdom and use those principles even refusing to acknowledge the Lordship of Christ and it will work for them because there is a dimension of God's power that is invested in his laws and principles they will not acknowledge the God but they will use his principles to get results even if an armed robber goes to the farm to farm, it will produce. Because the law of seed time and harvest is still at work. It does not depend on a relationship. It just depends on obedience to the principle. So before we begin to discuss this, I have an assignment to redirect your focus to him that sits on the throne, not a book. From the standpoint of him who sits on the throne, we now begin to follow the roadmap that he has created. So when we search for scripture and we explore the knowledge of the word, it is ultimately to the end that it, it revolves back to him who sits upon the throne. Are we together? This is what makes the Christian experience profitable. You will be surprised that a time can come in your Christian experience where as far as spiritual activities are concerned, you are not failing in it and yet your relationship is not growing your knowledge of scripture is increasing but because your motivation was never him your motivation was just principles principles are powerful but principles are secondary it is in the beginning God all the people who wrote this they did not start by looking for a book they started by pursuing a man it was their pursuit of that man that led to the book that we now read right after an encounter John 
you have now encountered me now write the words that have come from that encounter they are faithful and they are true are we blessed so it must be God and when I say God I'm speaking to a global audience there are people connecting from all over when we say God we refer to the God of the Bible the Almighty God the Creator of the heavens and the earth the one who came and manifested as the word made flesh Jesus in the beginning God whilst you're seated I want you to pray a prayer Lord everything that is not you and has been exalted in my life I dethrone it in this conference I redirect and reorder my passion more than Bible study more than prayer meeting all these are a means to an end the end is you the end of a believer's journey is not prayer the end of a believer's journey is not Bible study the end of a believer's journey is not worship the end of a believer's journey is not giving the end of a believer's journey is the knowledge of God all those things become keys that help us to know him and then excel in life are you praying lift your voice and pray to know you genuinely sincerely to know you to have an encounter with you